All right, the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, Chair and Senator, since our last hearing, there have been two standout aviation events uh, in the context of many others in, in our portfolio. The first was the Ethiopian Airlines tragedy on the 10th of March and my decision on the 12th of March to prohibit the operation of the 737 MAX into and out of Australia by two foreign air operators, uh, Silk Air and Fiji Airways. And my subsequent decision on the 29th of March to ban all operations of the 73 Max within Australian, 737 MAX within Australian Territory. The second, uh, the second item, standout item in the uh, period was the application by the Community Service Flight Organisation, Angel Flight, on about the 13th of March to the Federal Court for a stay of my instrument on community service flights. The application for stay was not granted because the applicant did not establish to the satisfaction of the court sufficient urgency relating to the apprehended impact of the instrument on the preparedness of volunteers to continue to volunteer. So the instrument came into effect on the 19th of March and I understand that it remains subject to disallowance. All right, That's all thank I you, uh, Mr Carmody. Uh, any senators with any questions, Mr Carmody? There have been none. We... Oh, oh. sorry, Senator. Can I just get an indication from gone. Senator Patrick? Has he got it? Is it going to be a while? No, no, it's not. Because, no, I'll, because I won't make no, any phone calls. No, no, um, so, um, Mr Cowdy, last time we talked about, uh, actually, uh, are you in a position to table the judgment uh, or provide the judgment to the committee? Um, I haven't got it with me, Senator, but I'm, yeah, sure, I'm sure there's no reason why it can't be tabled. Sure. So, so um, the, uh, the, the written statement came out, uh, the written reasons came out a couple of days ago. Sure. Uh, I, I presume it's normally a court uh, situation where there is a stay uh, sought. That, that's, no, that's not necessarily a determination by way of uh, a, review, a review of any decision. It simply says the board, <coughs> like an injunction, the, the threshold is normally pretty high to stop uh, uh, you know, a, a decision or a, something being executed. Senator, I don't know whether it's normally that high. I think mm. the, the, the onus is on the applicant to put forward a case um, that, mm. uh, that meets the threshold for the stay. Uh, saying that, and in this case, saying that um, our business, if you like, our operations will be severely damaged from tomorrow, from the 19th, if this stay does not come into effect. And uh, the, as I said, the judge uh, decided that there was not sufficient evidence put forward by the applicant to indicate, given that they have 3,300 pilots on their books, that there would be sufficient impact on their business. Was that done on the papers? Do they lodge a new? They lodged. Letter? They lodged multiple affidavits, <coughs> uh, Senator, over yep. the, over a period of a couple of days. I was there for both days. And you were given the opportunity to respond to, to the. The we both were represented by counsel. Um, we had um, uh, so our counsel responded with a couple of affidavits that we put forward as well. Yeah. So this the point I'm making is: Did anybody from Angel Flight or CASA or anywhere else, for that matter? Uh, uh, give testimony, sworn testimony. No, to the mm, so it was done on the papers. It was done with done legal advisers uh, engaging with the judge. I think um, uh, that's that's correct. That's essentially correct. Yeah. Is this in the federal court federal court of federal? Victoria? Okay. Sorry, Senator. Um, now uh, you've you've provided some data to this committee uh, in respect of uh, of angel flights, in essence, suggesting that they are more likely to have an incident than regular uh, regular private pilots? Uh, that their incident rate is higher than regular private flying and that their uh, fatal accident rate is also higher. Okay, is, is that data related only to the sector, uh, to sectors where there is a passenger on board? Uh, yes, Senator, that's my, my understanding. We. We, the, my understanding is that the data that is reported by uh, Angel Flight to, for example, to Bitra relates to the sectors that passengers are being carried, and that's the area that we're most interested in. So I'm not, I'm not interested in positioning flights, Senator. As far as I'm concerned, they are private flights. Uh, they're not actually related to the, there are no, there's not a patient, if you like, on board for the positioning flights, there's only the pilot. Um, but, but the operation of, uh, of positioning and returning the aircraft clearly fits within the, uh, the, the scope of the 
uh, of any operation. It's, it's, in it's, that you cannot, you can't, you can't uh, actually perform the function without doing that. Community service flight, by definition, is the flight that has the patient um, and and or the carer on board, not just a pilot positioning the aircraft. So, that's not that's that's not a community. So that's not the way we define a community service flight. So we're focused on, and my colleagues will correct me if I'm not correct, but I'm sure I am. Uh, we're focused on the actual flights where. Um, patients, if you like calling them patients for want of a better term, are carried. And the period over which this data was collected, that was 2008 to 2017? Uh, that's correct, um, although uh, we had, well, we, the data was collected over 2008 to 2017. The private business sport data is very clear. The, um, the community service flight data is less clear, but we had four years of data that was provided to the Bureau of infrastructure, transport and regional economics and we ex extrapolated that data back. So we had data from 2014 <coughs> through 2017, so four years of data, um, which we extrapolated to uh, bring us to a number of around 17,500 mm -hmm. if I recall, 17,700. Um, that allows us to, to look, because in those four years they had an average, uh, and I, I'll have to be corrected on the figures, but just say an average of about 1,500 or so actual community service flights in each of those years. Mm -hmm. Can um, Angel Flight have indicated to me, uh, having seen your answer, that they have a different data set um, uh, that, that covers a, a greater period of time and that uh, in actual fact, uh, using statistics, you can simply get a different answer if you, if you, uh, uh, well, yep, I understand that. You, you understand it, yeah, mm. was, was it uh, lies, damn lies and statistics yeah. or something? Um, yeah, it depends on the way in which you, you analyse the data. Um, have they written to you and explained to you their concerns with this answer? Uh, no. Okay, I, um, I'm, I might haven't. put something on notice to you mm. that, uh, for you to consider and respond in respect of their concerns about the way in which you've approached this. Sorry, can, I, can you just explain that again to me, Senator? I might have mis misunderstood that. I might, I might misunderstand the question. I know. <laughs> sure. Sure, and I might, I might not have artic articulated it well. Um, Angel Flight Challenge ha have indicated to me that they don't believe the, the, the way in which you've calculated this is accurate or... or presents an accurate picture. I'm sure that's the case, Senator, okay. yes. So I, in, in a world of contestability, um, which generally produces better results, would like to put to you on notice their concerns for your response. Okay. okay. Now, look, one, in fairness to Mr Carmody, um, we should invite them to particularise with some mm. detail I understand where, where they think the formula yeah. or the yep. or the mathematics have failed because it would be impossible to respond otherwise. No, no, I'm going to give partic particulars that... Uh, I can run through it here, but I think it no, will no, take no, a lot of time. No, 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 don't do that, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. It's too late for that. So yeah. I'm just suggesting yeah. I will put that to them on notice mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. and let them respond. Oh, I see, you're putting it on notice, not yes. only key. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I've just been reminded too that if they continue their action uh, in the federal court, they may well be putting those figures to the court. Okay. Uh, because I, uh, at the moment, uh, I'm not sure whether they're going to continue their action. Um, they had the action for the stay, but whether they continue the action in the federal court is is not clear. Sure. I guess that went to my point before. The stay is not an ultimate decision in any particular. Um, uh, no, no, not, at, not, not yeah. at all. It's a, it's on a particular set of circumstances, yeah. and it doesn't um, give doesn't give you an indication of whether you are or are not incorrect. They were just arguing that it would affect their operations until such time as a, a more substantive. Well, no, it would seem on both of your agreement mm. that the court, mm. on the circumstances presented mm. to it, did not agree with them. Mm. No, no, only on the stay, on the on the need yeah. to stay the decision, to to hold the decision. That, that's been made, or the regulation. And that's correct. I mean, the court did not make a decision sure. on the validity or otherwise of yeah. safety statistics, for example. It yeah. made a decision entirely on what the applicant put forward, which was the immediate impact. damage to yeah. their business, impact on their business. And that wasn't that shown was, in, the, uh, in the case. Yep. Yep. OK, I'm with you. Thank you, Chair. Done. Yep. Thank you, uh, Mr Carmody. Always okay. a pleasure. Uh, I see you had quite a team with you. We do appreciate your preparation and attendance and uh, we wish you all safe travel 
back to your um, your intended destination. Now, thank you, Chair. Thank you very much for thank your support. Thank you. Well. Everyone else can remain there.